What's up, everybody, and welcome to another reading with the Crown Priestess. Um, this is going to be an all signs reading for the weekend energy. If you come across this video and it is not the weekend fret knots, I'm sure there are still messages here for you. If you came across this page, it's because you were divinely guided to do so, right? It was divinely orchestrated. Please pay attention to your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Also, you can cross-watch at your own discretion. This is going to be for the next 48 hours and or the weekend energy for all signs. Starting with the sign of Aries, I will post timestamps in the bottom. I will pin them to the comment section, okay? Um, so that you can just click on whatever sign you need to watch and make that an easy process for you. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. It really does help me with my channel and it helps me to just continue the work for you guys, right? If you're interacting with the videos, then I know that it's resonating. I know that you like it. I know to do more. If nobody likes it and nobody interacts, then I just stop doing videos. It's quite simple. Like, it's really not that deep. But anyway, enough of that. You can book a personal reading with me through my Instagram or an email. All that information is also in the description box. Let's get started with the sign of Aries. What is the weekend and or next 48 hour energy for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and cross watching. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh, somebody's in deep regret this weekend. There could be a lot of confusion around a situation. Somebody could be avoiding you or this is your energy. I do feel like somebody's rather hurt. Okay. Yeah, I think Aries, it looks like somebody is recognizing that you guys are not on the same page, not on the same level. I think that it's okay for you, but this seems like somebody else is feeling this way. Um, because you come up very strong in your own energy here with firm foundation in the universe. But this person seems to be in deep sorrow, deep regret, deep thought about something when it comes to you. Yeah, there goes the triumph card again, a material harvest. It could be Aries that some of you have just recently glowed up or came into some sort of abundance. I want to say that because abundance can be a lot of things, not necessarily just money. But it does say material harvest here. So I feel like for a lot of you, you're just in a space where you're doing really well. Um, you could be maybe spending some money this weekend, going out, having fun, whatever. And it's like making someone else sad that they can't be a part of this, that they can't contribute, that maybe they don't have the same means as you. What should you do about this? <sighs> Nothing. Keep living your life. You know, I don't think that you're paying much attention to this energy it's almost like somebody wants you to pity party them or pay attention to them and somebody is really drawing attention to like their sadness their lack their discontent their boredom but spirit is saying it's it's none of your business just carry on um business per usual i almost feel like this is kind of a slap in the face to somebody on purpose it's like spirit is making someone again material <laughs> material and spiritual prosperity again you see what i mean it's a gift because you did have the universe card there and now you have the new beginnings coming out i feel like spirit is blessing you in somebody's face on purpose this weekend um they're like forced to sit with these feelings forced to see you just like having a good time, getting your party on, get you glowing up, whatever it is. Um, and they feel away because they can't be a part of this. But it seems to be like something that has to happen for, for them. Like it's their karma, it's their whatever. All right, what is your advice? <laughs> what is your advice, Aries? Yeah, just be abundant. Wait for it, okay? You have the waiting game and fertility here. It's the Empress card. I would say, like, whatever it is, though, it's shaking up somebody else's world with disruption on the bottom. That's like a tower energy. Um, 
there's nothing that you necessarily have to do about this energy. Just enjoy your time. I see that it's going to be very fun, very fulfilling, very abundant. Again, you could be getting a lot of attention. There's something here that someone else is being forced to watch. It's like they're watching you on stage or something like that. Um, and I think that, uh, it, you know, the tower will potentially affect some sort of trigger action or some reaction out of this person at some point i don't think you'll necessarily hear about it this weekend but spirit is encouraging you to pay this energy like do not don't entertain this energy okay just do your big one aries okay i love that that's right pay them dust pay them in dust that's right moving on to taurus <laughs> oh shit what is happening for Taurus in the next 48 hours and or the weekend energy for them? What is their energy? The energy for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, and Cross Watcher. Oh my God, Taurus, you too? Everybody, I think you're having an actual conversation about this though. Um, and you could be celebrating with someone else or some of you too are stepping into a new relationship or a new level of partnership with somebody it doesn't have to be love for everybody but it sure does feel that way with all these sixes and the two it feels very balanced very harmonious oh taurus you could you have like a, a a divine counterpart around you this weekend um and it may be the for some of you it's like the first time that you're speaking to this person ever like it could be a new person altogether but this is somebody who is fated to meet you somebody from a past life even you're gonna know it like when you speak to this person even if it's for the first time you're just gonna feel something very deep rooted very connected it's almost like your pineal gland is opening to here like the third eye chakra is opening here um and it's this is something that spirit is is wanting you this is like this is really deep energy for like two days though yeah something's changing it's the truth something's coming it's the truth <laughs> something is really just materializing this weekend in terms of like a connection okay um for a lot of you it's romantic i feel like it's very romantic it's a romantic connection Maybe not for every single person. Everybody can't have the same exact, you know, timeline. But um, this is something really positive that's coming to you this weekend, Taurus. So what else? What, what should you expect out of this? Yeah, just be patient, okay? Um, and make sure that material harvest, the same cards keep came out for Aries. Because they also got material and spiritual prosperity and then material harvest this is a gift like some of you are just being very heavily rewarded this weekend and it could be in the form of meeting a counterpart all right a very important counterpart and you know spirit is saying just be um patient and don't um why patience because that you know like i don't want to say take it slow because again i feel like when you encounter this individual it's going to feel intense like inside you know you're going to remember this person almost with awareness you have awareness here with memories and twin flame i'm going to be like i'm just going to show you all that so it's like not everybody is going to have a twin flame but nonetheless with spiritual union here and material prosperity and um spiritual prosperity this is something designed to come into your life at this time okay but be um they're saying be patient with yourself because something about you feels a little anxious around this energy and that is that's kind of on brand with like intense ass divine connections especially if it's like a twin flame situation but um this is a good thing okay what is your advice here outside of patience yeah it's time for change transformation victory and success it's, a, it's imperative that you allow this in, okay? Because I feel like some of you maybe are afraid to let it in, but don't be. It's like, it's good. It's going to be good for you. Okay, Taurus, that's a fab ass energy to be in. It's so quick, you know, just like two days. That's, 
Shit just be turning around, y'all. No shade. But all right. Let's do Gemini. What is Gemini's energy in the next 48 hours and for their weekend energy? Great spirit for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. And for their cross watchers. Please put the energy where it goes, y'all. Y'all know the vibes. Okay. Gemini. Oh, Gemini, you could be spending a lot of time alone this weekend or in separation from um, a particular person or people. I do feel like there's communication with this person, but it, it may not be in, like it's not one on one. It's like via the phone, via text message, you know, social media, something like that. I do feel like some of you are far away from somebody that you don't want to be far away from, whether this is emotionally or physically or both. There's like a distance between you and someone this weekend. Um, but I do feel like you guys are going to speak. You both want to be near each other. Yeah, it's this is somebody that you're possibly thinking of rebuilding with this weekend. Now I'm holding this whole deck upside down, but I'm going to take that as a sign that it was supposed to come out upside down. It's, it's a rebuild. Yeah, destiny. Thank you. I love that when they prove me. When they prove. And hope at the bottom, you see? So I do feel like there this weekend you're having a conversation with somebody probably via uh, some sort of device, right? Like social media, a phone, a computer. I don't think that you're talking in person to this, like like face-to-face -to, -face to this person. Um, But I think there is conversation with somebody that you've been wanting to reconnect with, wanting to talk to. Um, this person feels the same. I do feel like it's mutual energy. What is the intent behind this? Yeah, they miss you. They miss you. They feel like maybe it was a missed opportunity. I feel like for some of you, you, you might have thought that this person moved on because of another person, but it wasn't. It was like this person was just going through a lot. Okay, like this, this somebody here is going through a lot financially. Um, this person possibly um, did not have a stable foundation. Like they didn't have a steady place to live. This looks like somebody who like moves around a lot, doesn't have a lot of security or they didn't have a lot of security when you guys were trying to make something of this. Um, and so that is why they kind of fell back, moved on. However, you saw it. Um, I know that a lot of you, I'm getting that very strongly, that you probably thought there was somebody else involved, but it, that's not that's not the case here. So what is your advice? I think that you and this person can really have, you guys can possibly begin to talk of like a new beginning, try and start fresh. I think that it's worth it. Just understand that this person is trying desperately to like rebuild their life, okay? They had financial and you had financial and material changes in the reverse here um, with trapped in fear in the reverse as well. So like I said, I think that this person, they were just not in a place where they could be in the company of someone else, especially on a romantic level. Um, and I think that's respectable, right? Like a lot of times people don't have shit and they still want to be in relationships and it's like, Girl, get yourself together first, you know? So I feel like somebody here is in the process of rebuilding themselves, getting themselves together. And once they are able to do that, you know, I think when you guys have this conversation and you kind of understand where they're coming from and what was happening in their life and what's been going on while you guys have been apart, it'll help you understand and maybe make a better decision around whether you should go forward or not, which spirit is saying that in, in time you can, all right, with balance and new beginnings. I think it's just a matter of compromisation. Um, and, you know, yeah, it's just a matter of compromise. Okay. All right. Moving forward to cancer. Let's see what cancer's energy is for the next 48 hours and or the weekend. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and their cross watchers. 
one more of this in. Okay. Again. All right. Tell me when. No. Okay. Thank you. So this is for cancer. There you go. They were quick about it. Um, Cancer, someone is feeling guarded about a union, okay? Um, it's requiring a lot of strength to come out of a, a very guarded state with somebody that you really want to be with, okay? You have really positive memories, nostalgia, etc. about this union, but you are very guarded and afraid to be like vulnerable with them okay or this is their energy take it how it resonates cancer cancer your energy is surrounding a relationship i think this is all around love for most people i think all the signs so far have been about love except for aries <laughs> aries is like we're never in love we're actually always in love, but we don't have time to, like, play the game. So we just be like, bitch, bye. <laughs> love begins in destiny, cancer. All right. What is this and why? Yeah, you're seeing the truth about a relationship. Oh, my God, cancer. You love this person. Look at this. You're listening to your intuition. You have third eye, foundation, and achievement, spiritual strength. And awareness, yeah. You or somebody is, you're waking up to the fact that you really are like wanting to be with someone, okay? Like you really do want to be with this person, but, or, or they really want to be with you, but you're just like very afraid of opening up. Why is this? Because there's something that perhaps you're trying to heal still. Um, it's taken time to heal. Some of you are holding on to things from very long ago, maybe as far as childhood traumas go, um, or just you have a history with this person that was maybe tumultuous at a time. Um, and now you're just memories of love. The nostalgia is real. This person is a soulmate for you. Some of you have kids, the universe it's like um spirit is encouraging you they are forcing you they are opening you up to the connection okay for some of you this is a a soul connection for real too like spiritual strength universe memories of love foundation and achievements is like the four of wands that's twin flame energy for some of you as well um so yeah, what is your advice? What is your advice, Cancer, with, the, with all of this? Because this is strong. Damn, that flew. One of them fell. Oh, a lot fell. Okay. That's crazy because I was talking about Aries. And look, authority, that's the Emperor card. That's Aries energy. Um, Yeah, but you also, and hope is at the bottom. Material and spiritual. This card keeps on coming out. A lot of people are really reaping their rewards karmic rewards at this time okay material and spiritual prosperity it's not just rich in abundance that's materializing but it's rich in spirit in divinity and just being connected you know and doing the work that you were supposed to do um spirit is encouraging you i want to say with those cards with that aries energy that authority card this material and spiritual prosperity i think your advice is to go for it cancer go for it you know like you know, and go hopeful, go with a, a lighthearted, you know, energy, go with positive thinking, right? We don't want to diminish our manifestations with negative thoughts, all right? Because I do feel like negative thoughts kind of creep up on you with that guarded energy. There's something that you've just been carrying for a really long time that has very little to do with what this relationship is about however it has everything to do with how you show up in this relationship and it's time to heal that um and a big way that you get to heal that is by just taking action and going in with a positive mindset okay all righty that i mean it's some powerful shit going on just in a couple days like wow work spirit it's all that solar eclipse shit we just went through and the fucking moon is in scorpio right now which is super intense you know scorpio is intense boots all right 
Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Let's go on to Leo. Mm -hmm. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Cross Watcher. What's up for Leo in the next 48? And or the weekend energy was up for Leo. I was going to say Scorpio again. Some of you are dealing with Scorpio or you have Scorpio placements. Like prominent placements. Like Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. <laughs> Maybe a node for some of you. All right. Leo, 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 Leo. What is happening for Leo? Thank you. Ooh. Heavy Mars energy, which Scorpio is Mars energy, as well as Aries. And then the Scorpio card came out. <laughs> Yo, you guys can really be dealing with a Scorpio. What the fuck? All right. So it seems like you and somebody are very physically attracted to each other this weekend, Leo. Could be doing the... The one, two. Um, this weekend could be in that energy a lot, but I do feel like emotionally there is some stagnancy here or some blockages, some limitation, okay? Yeah, and patience came out as soon as I said that. So I think for you guys, this is a rela relationship that's maybe is just casual at the moment. Or it's starting off casual, but it does have the potential to grow into a union, okay? You have patience. Again, the gift that keeps on giving, material and spiritual. I'm shuffling these cards, I swear to God, y'all. And that just keeps on coming. A lot of people are really being rewarded by the divine at this time. But yeah, you have that. And then you have the spiritual union card. So I think over time, if you are not living in a fear-based mentality this can really grow into something the problem is some of you have um control issues okay you want to control the narrative you want things to go the way you want them to go and you're not you're kind of interfering with the natural flow of things i feel as though you're in a a very passionate connection a harmony came you see what i'm saying there goes the light that's the sun card as well like with the harmony and spiritual union to see this together if you have the patience as this is showing you can really turn this into something beautiful but you have to let go of control all right because you have the control and the limitations and fears here you have to let go of control i think that this is something that like i said starts hot starts passionate the chemistry is there sexually physically there's attraction and all that jazz um and maybe you're telling yourself that it's never going to be more than that. Or this person is, you know, maybe you just feel like, oh, well, they a player. They this, they that, they a hoe, whatever. Because there's like, there's some hoey energy um, attached to this, whatever that means. You know, I don't mean hoey like they're necessarily fucking a thousand people. But like somebody here is rather seductive you know, rather flirty, things of that nature. And so maybe you don't trust that. Maybe that's you, Leo, because you are a fire sign. So let's not pretend we not like that. Okay, very flirty, very so seductive. I'm here with 50 Cent Bye, and I'll take you to the candy shop. Moving forward, what should you do about all of this? Allow it. Yes, allow it. Okay, use your intuition, follow your gut. I think that this... You know, I don't want to say like, don't over attach yourself to the outcome of the situation. You know, again, go with the flow, but be honest with yourself. Like if you start to feel things a little more than just sexual, it's because you, it's that it's probably the right thing to do. You know, like it's okay to fall in love sometimes, Leo, like ridiculous. Don't try to just, you know, shove it out the door. Let it happen, but let it happen organically, okay? All right, moving forward to Virgo. What is Virgo's energy this weekend? Next 48, however, for, oh, ow, that hurts. Somebody could be getting hurt or like, uh, you might, that was like a physical hurt. Like you might stub your toe on something or something small like that. <laughs> Anyway, um, Virgo, 
Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watcher. Quiet, I'm working. As I say, Virgo and my son. Stop! I'm working. Don't don't be rude. I don't want to play with you. I'm working. Go away. Yes, thank you, because you just ate. Please shut up. Again, as I do Virgo, my son is a Virgo. And I can't stand it, to be honest. Like, I love my son down, but the Virgo be Virgoing. Moving forward. Y'all just so Beyonce about everything, you know? Anyway. <laughs> A diva. Somebody's a diva here. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watcher. I'm sorry, y'all. You're fighting very hard to keep a connect. Yes. Deception and envy is on the bottom for you, Virgo. Some of you are fighting really hard to keep a connection together that you just feel like you cannot overcome harmony, power, conflict, and defeat. It could be that, um, fish. With deception and envy, Virgo, it could be that there were other people involved in this, okay? Um, to some effect, yeah, shadows coming out now. I think that, uh, arrest and rejuvenation. Um, what, what should you do about this? Yeah, I think you you might be spending time alone this weekend or just time um, reflecting, right? Because this woman is alone, but she's like reading scripture. She's trying to like go deep within self. She's trying to be one with God. This is your energy, Virgo. It's like the hermit, right? And the nine. So you could be spending a lot of time alone this weekend. <sighs> Emotional withdrawal on the bottom. That's like eight of cups. Just reflecting on a connection that you've had that's been rather difficult to deal with, tumultuous to deal with. Yeah, deception and envy with balance. I think that you're just taking a break from this person. Some of you um, are in recent separation or you will be separating this weekend. I do feel like a lot of you are just taking this time to yourself. What is your advice? Uh, let me get, I didn't get oracles for you. Let's get oracles. See, my son threw me off. That's it, something about that too. It's like this relationship, this connection is thrown you off. Like you just don't even know anymore. You like, you know, so that's why you're having to spend time alone. Yeah, look, avoidance and stalemate. What else? Oh my God. Toxicity bound patterns. And then messages communication so i do feel like um maybe you're having a conversation with this person not in person not face to face but over the phone maybe you're sending a lot i see like a really long text <laughs> spiritual strength as i say that there's like a really long text remember i said this she's reading scripture here right and when you think of the bible like some of those verses are so long so i see like somebody is just twitter fingering away there's like a long essay there's proofreading, like you could be putting this in your notes and then copy and pasting into whatever or audio notes or something like that. Um, I feel like this weekend is your time to reflect on what this situation is and you may want to get some words across, but still I see that you're like taking your space, which is what spirit is advising you to do. All right. The nines are very prominent. There's another nine here. All right. Okay, Virgo. Let's do um, Libra. <sighs> Let's start with these. Yeah, Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um, and a Cross Watcher. Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watcher. What is the 48 hour energy? Or the weekend energy for Libra. Ooh, something unexpected. Ooh, I don't know. Oof, oof, Libra, yours is tough. Yeah, okay. So you, uh, I'm going to show you. You have Storm, you have Shadow Side, you have Contracts. And I always hate this card because it says, Until debt tear us apart. I don't like that. 
and then thoughts and isolating okay so you could be another person who's just like trying to stick to yourself um trying to do some reflection there's something definitely unexpected happening this weekend something catches you off guard something takes you by surprise um there could be some devastating news here in regards to um a contract a job a relationship deception and envy you and virgo with this energy maybe you're dealing with a virgo but look positive movement forward i think yeah and the solitude card on the bottom something is happening it's for the right reasons because i like okay the energy is getting better now positive moving forward into the light it's to your best bet and destiny i love that i love that but you have to make it oh you have to make a decision, okay? You have to make a decision. You have to make the move. Um, with positive movement forward, that is your advice, honestly. Just move on from whatever this is because I feel like something that was hidden from you is being exposed this weekend. And it might be a lot worse than you expected, a lot worse than you thought. Emotional loss, yeah. You guys are leaving something. For some of you, I'm getting that this is a job, Okay. Um, it might not be a romantic thing. It could be a job. It could be a housing situation. Um, but outside of the sadness or the shock and all that this might bring you, um, it's important that you just move forward. It's like it's a catalyst to move forward. It's going to allow you to move into much karma waters, right? Spirit is leading this man out towards the horizon, he doesn't have much. It's just him and his boat, but he's the fuck out of here. All right, towards the light, towards the sun, towards the light, and it's destined for you to do this. All right, this is like the wheel of fortune. So please take whatever is unexpectedly shaken up in your life this weekend as a faded, you know, alteration of your destiny um, to make things better and put you in a better position, a more fortunate position, a luckier position. Because I do feel like that, like with this boat, I feel like you're sailing into a much more abundant time, a prosperous time, a lucky time, you know, but it may be alone, right? Because again, this man is alone. It's just him and spirit. And this did say thoughts and isolating. And I would imagine this man has a lot to think of on his journey, but he has a lot to look forward to. All right, Libra? Okay, let's do Scorpio. It's crazy because I felt like Libra has such a good reading the other day. Um, I don't know. Yeah, but that I guess that with that deception of me, sometimes shit, people just be switching off. You know, with Storm, it's like that. It was like a tower. Like, whoops, unexpected, some dumb shit. I hate that for y'all. Sorry. Um, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watcher for Scorpio. That's it. That's it. Let me just shuffle down. Yeah, they want like deep shuffle for Scorpio. I feel like something's being shuffled in your life as well, Scorpio. Something's being shuffled up. Shuffled playlist. You could have you could be in a place where you're like playing your music or you're listening to a lot of music this weekend and you just hit shuffle. Like fuck it, let it play whatever's gonna play. Like you're not trying to control the situation anymore or Yep. Patience and planning with awareness, like I said. Okay. Awareness and the heart chakra. Something something is opening up this weekend again, like I don't know. Awareness is like a big thing. And the green is prominent here. So it's definitely about the heart chakra. Prosperity begins. That makes sense. Okay. I think that you are finally letting go of like... You're, you're not controlling the narrative anymore, Scorpio. And it's allowing things to really fall into place in a beautiful way for you this weekend. The less control that you try to put over things, yeah, the more that you attract towards you. Okay, and it's like, I think that this comes after a time where maybe you are not feeling the best, you are not in the highest spirits, um, but you're feeling a lot better, you're feeling a lot better. It could be that you went through a recent separation with somebody, and maybe you tried very hard to 
again, control the narrative to some degree, no matter what that is. But I think that you're in a much more level-headed space this weekend. Yeah, a lot of reflection. You could be seeing signs and synchronicities in your dreams. These things are going to get better. There's a new foundation forming in your life, and you're going to get rewarded for it. Renewal and spark with the earth energy. That's Ace of Pentacles. So a divine gift, all right? What is your advice? What's your advice? I feel like this is more energy than actual physical things going on. Scorpio, this weekend, I feel like it's more of a mindset. It's more where you are. Um, you could be spending time with your children if you're a mom or a dad. You could be spending time with family this weekend. Yeah. Triumph and fulfillment wishes. Yeah. I would say that uh, just continue to keep the faith. Continue to keep a positive mindset again the light keeps coming out that's very positive energy is sun is happy it's a happy time i think that after some trials and tribulations you've learned to like let things go and in doing so you you're in a much lighter energy like your energy feels actually really good like it feels like it's energy i want to be around you know it's something like that like you're you're attracting just like really nice fun satisfying things okay like and you're gonna get something that you've been wanting because of this as well okay that was cute good for you scorpio that's that full moon energy that you got going on i think that it's um bringing some stuff to you that um you're deserving of okay let's move on to sagittarius uh this weekend energy sagittarius Sagittarius, next 48, and or weekend energy, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and cross watcher for Sagittarius. Let's roll. I just heard, are you there? I don't know what that means, but I literally heard, are you there? Are you there? Um, maybe somebody's asking you if you've arrived somewhere. I almost feel like I have to say that. Um, somebody is trying to commune with the dead. Some okay, that's I mean that's pretty detailed, but it's like somebody's at a seance or somebody is actively like calling on someone who has passed over to come and speak to them. Okay, wow. All right. Um, I mean, I'm not surprised, uh, right? I'm witchy as fuck, so obviously people who come across this video will be witchy too. <laughs> yeah, and now the solitude card with this woman in the scripture is, but it, it's like somebody's calling on somebody. You know, maybe you're calling on God. That could be a thing. You're calling on help. Like you need help. You're calling on divine assistance. Okay, this is like somebody is calling on divine assistance. Somebody is um, reaching out. And I feel like this is spiritually reaching out. Whether you are telepathically calling on a loved one who has passed, a loved one who's not passed, who's alive, and you're just trying to attract them back into your field, um, or you're just reaching out to God, you're searching for answers from your ancestors, your angels, your guardians, your deity, whatever it is that you worship, how you worship. I feel like you're reaching out or you're calling to this intuition. I can't lie about this the shit that I'm saying because I, I heard verbatim, like, are you there? And it was like that, like somebody's calling out to something. Oh, somebody worships uh, demons. Yeah, I just heard a... Uh, I lost the name. I guess Spirit didn't want me to say it, but I heard the name and I know it's a demon. Um, but I guess they did not want me to verbalize it for other viewers. But if you are the person who worships demons, you know who you are. You're calling out to that. It will come. Um, something about, okay, I, I'll say that. Am I allowed to say that? Okay, yes. So um, for, for whoever's watching who worships a demon specifically, there's no judgment here. Again, people worship what they worship. It's none of my business. Um, but if you are worshiping, if you're into demon worship or you're working with a demon specifically at this time, it will come to you. This demon is very calm. It's actually not like a 
I'm just going to describe it how Spirit is saying. It's not a very tumultuous, like, this demon is not uh, how we see it in the movies. Um, it's actually, he's very, it's a male, yes. He's very calm demeanor, very tall. You will feel this energy if it's what you, if you, if it's what you want to reach out to. He's responding, okay. Uh, I'm okay. Yeah. He's re this is a very big, he's big. He's big. Like he's really big. Okay. All right. That was for somebody moving forward. Um, just be cautious as well. <laughs> when you call on to this energy again, demons are demons. You know, you know, if you know what you're doing, you know what you're doing, but be cautious when you're calling on to this energy because it can deplete you of a lot. It may ask for something in return that maybe you don't have to offer at this time so just be aware of that moving forward i'm sorry for those of you who are not into that stuff i don't mean to disrespect anybody or scare anybody i just have to give the messages how spirit sees fit for others of you again with intuition solitude and now the third eye chakra you're being answered by whatever it is you're calling on okay some of you are looking to your bibles you're going to church you're trying to find answers this weekend Sag you're really looking for answers you're in desperate need and desperate search of the answers and you're in a space where you're realizing these answers are only on the divine side of things not in the material so you guys can be spending a lot of time alone as I said that the shadow card is at the bottom and there goes the light and the dark so just be just be cautious open and aware of what it is that you are in search for because it will respond with third eye chakra okay it will respond to you do you have any more advice for this because that was a pretty deep message okay make sure that okay so the tower is there with moving on make sure that you don't sit in this energy for very long i feel like a lot of you right now are in a time where you are sort of moving in between realms i think that you went through something very hard recently, Sagittarius. Some of you lost um, somebody very dear to you. They passed away. They died. Some of you lost a relationship that you just couldn't, you can't handle the separation. Some of you, um, oh my God, I'm sorry. Some of you are experiencing um, a, ter a terminal illness or, or, oh God, some of you are experiencing a miscarriage or a stillbirth or something like that. Please forgive this energy. I just have to say what spirit gives me. And so this is putting you, whatever it is that you went through recently, Sag, or what you're going through in this present moment, it has you sort of shifting through realities, through realms. And so just be very careful. Okay, be very careful this weekend. All right, I'm moving forward. Please listen to your sun, moon, rising, and Venus if that had nothing to do with you because that was an energy that I was not expecting to pick up on, but I did. So, okay, moving forward to Capricorn. Moving forward to Capricorn. Sometimes I... I don't hate my gifts, but sometimes I'm like, holy shit, you know, like it gets tough to talk about that stuff because I know that I cater to, a, you know, like different people and I don't like want to scare people or offend people, whatever. It is what it is. Capricorn, someone rising Venus and Crosswatcher, 48 hour energy and or the weekend for Capricorn. Thank you, spirit. Oh, Capricorn, you can be starting something new or you're in the process of starting something new. I don't think that this is going to take place over the weekend. Yeah, waiting game. I think that it may go, this energy might shift past the weekend and maybe roll into like May, okay, which is close by. We were a couple days short of May. Um, but I do feel like there's a lot of reflection this weekend. You can be doing a lot of shadow work this weekend. You might find yourself in a... In a kind of a snippy mood a little snippy attitude maybe you're not in the best spirits um but don't you know beat yourself up about it it's just a a time of reflection for you there can be a lot of triggers things of that nature but it is allowing you to um 
grow okay it's like reflection and growth is what i'm getting from this energy um you could be down in the dumps about a situation that you learned was yeah disharmony trick i knew i i heard i felt it like i heard the triggers i heard everything you could be in disharmony about um a situation that just didn't turn out the way that you wanted to especially if this is in terms of romance you could have found out that there was excuse me you could have found out that there was a third party there was some some access um just uh extracurricular activities um going on right in your situation um and so this could be putting you in a little bit of a funk it got you with an attitude you might have to you might have i don't think you're cursing anybody out this weekend but i think you had like a kind of a hard conversation an argument a debate or something like that that has put you in this energy um as the week progresses as we come into may i think that there are some happier times you do have a chance at a new beginning and just starting fresh and feeling better but not until you have sort of worked through this process i'll be honest um it is requiring a lot of strength you could be dealing with a leo will have prominent leo placements um what okay what is your advice what is your advice thank you um yeah don't don't talk about it anymore because i came out of reverse the throat chakra you said all you had to say. There's no more need to explain further. This is just a time where you need to kind of just reflect, do your own thing, and, you know, ask yourself what it is you want, what you don't want, and just move forward, all right? It's going to take time. It's not like, like I said, I don't think that this is something you're going to dwell in for too long, um, but spirit is not encouraging any more arguments, fights, or anything like that, because I think you did that already. So with the throat chakra in reverse, I think it is a, a time for you to just be quiet. Um, less is more in your situation. Don't tell everybody about what you're going through. Don't draw attention to yourself in that way. Just stop complaining too, Capricorn, I'm hearing. I just heard stop complaining. Like it's not that deep. And also, I feel like whoever it is that you do open your mouth to, it's like it's falling on deaf ears or these people just don't care. So that's why Spirit is saying just you might as well just shh. Because it's not going to improve anything. It's not going to help. It's just going to make people kind of like distance themselves from you or annoyed with you to some effect. Or And it's just, you know, ultimately it's going to make you feel, feel worse. And you're not going to be able to progress in the shadow work that you need to be doing right now. Okay. That was interesting. These are interesting reads today. <laughs> Very interesting. Okay. Um, Aquarius. Moving forward to Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watcher for Aquarius. The Aquarians. The Aquarians. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. What are you doing? What are you up to? Next 48 for Aquarius. Next 48, weekend energy for Aquarius. Aquarius. Oh. You could be, so I, I, your family is like looking for you or your friends and family or whoever. These pe people that you're normally with are looking for you this week at Aquarian. And it's probably because you are spending time with somebody new, it looks like. Or you are meeting somebody new. Um, or you're just doing something else. Yeah. I see that. You could be, you could be retreating with someone, okay, is how I'm seeing this. Like, um, you could be hiding out maybe you're doing like a little weekend getaway I, I, I can't make it up you're going on a date or something some of you are doing like literally a weekend getaway <laughs> it's faded for you to have met this person um or spend time with this person what else you have, it's somebody that you're very highly attracted to and they're very highly attracted to you i think that this person can teach you a lot there's something that that's very intriguing about this energy this weekend aquarius that's why you are like taking the time out away from your normal activities to like investigate this person a little more. I do feel like this is one on one time for some of you with this new person. Let me get a little more here. Yeah, it's something important about this person integration and union with higher self and activation. There's something about this person that is 
intriguing like i said of course and you got fulfillment and wishes twice because this is on the bottom and that came out in your situation as well so you guys can be going out for a drink having fun things like that because that's kind of like my dating situation you're out just casual but i think um it's like surprising people that you're not around it's like people are looking for you and it's like yo what you doing where you at what what you, like what's up with you and you're just like kind of keeping a low profile the whole time you're spending time with somebody. You're like with someone or trying to like get alone with someone or something like that. All right, what should you do about this? Light. I mean, keep it moving. Just keep doing it. Keep keep on. Keep a positive mindset. Um, this person could be a Leo with that energy because now I'm seeing power with light together. I think that um this this whatever it is that you're doing temptation you might have sex with this person this weekend i think again you two are very attracted to each other it's okay to riff on that with the nine of um cups here right that fulfillment of wishes with temptation and light i think that it's okay for you guys to explore there might be a lot of chemistry between you and this person um they could be a capricorn as well with that temptation energy but um yeah something about it is saying too like um geez continue to keep it as low profile as possible in in this time something about that like something about a private life is a happy one i guess at least for now because i do feel like for a lot of you this is a new situation but it people are wondering like they're starting to like speculate like oh is aquarius dating someone are they like why can't we find aquarius where's this where's that they usually would be here something of that nature um, but keep it cute. I think there's something really like positive, something really cute is is coming out of, I keep hearing cute, like something real cute is coming out of a new situation or something that you're doing kind of on the low right now. <laughs> not sneaky link, have a good one. All right, over forward to Pisces. Last but not least, Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus and cross watcher for the next 48 hours and or the weekend energy pisces pisces fishy 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 <laughs> somebody could be part of the lgbtq community for me to say fishy fish that's how they refer to the women that's how they refer to the vagina she's fish so somebody could be that somebody could be um part of the lgbtq community pisces let's see what's going on pisces what's happening next 48 weekend energy that came out crossed what is crossed new beginnings reward and recognition partnerships and alliances so pisces you could be coming into a space this weekend where you're meeting new people or you are trying to decide on whether you want to align with someone, be an ally to someone or vice versa. Spirit is encouraging this. These are good new friends, good new partners. Like uh, it's new. It's new people. It's people who are wanting to collaborate with you, wanting to work with you, wanting to help you on a project. These people work well together. Okay. And this energy, I love this a lot. Yeah. Oh, fulfillment, justice, receive, open. Good. I love this. I love this energy a lot. So Pisces, yeah, you can be coming into, um, there's a lot of newness, right? New beginnings, partnerships and alliances, recognition and reward. These things are positive, positive, positive. The threes are very strong here, which talks about community. Back to LGBT community. I keep getting drawn back to that. Somebody is LGBTQ. Hey girl. Um, moving forward. Um, you're meeting people and you are receiving people as well. Like, you know, this is like a, some sort of gathering, some sort of event, some sort of something. I don't know if this is like a party, just somebody's at a bar. I don't know if this is at work. This could be uh, maybe you all go to the same gym, the same dance studio, the same yoga session, something. But you're meeting people um, through these outlets, new people new walks of life i'm hearing this weekend um or these are people that you've met recently and you're realizing like hey i can, I can use this person to uh, can you please shut up 
I can use this person for this. I can use this person for that. This person is good at this. Or this person mentions they know how to do this. I can call them. Yes, call those people. Receive those people. Use these people. Collaborate with these people. They're going to be very important for new projects and new walks of life for you, okay? Um, you have the alchemy and ancestor guides here. So your ancestors, your spirit team has worked to align you with these people. They have put you in the right places at the right times to meet with these people. And you have receive and open karma and fulfillment with that, all right? So what should you do? Obviously, we're telling you what you should do, but still, what else? Yeah, you people are gonna be really good. Hope is at the bottom, so keep, you know, keep hope alive. With power and base chakra, this is all about materializing everything you know what i mean like it may require some hard work it may require uh adjustments in uh i want to say an attitude or in like uh how you connect with people maybe you're approaching people in a new way that you've never approached them before you're learning new ways of delivery delivery is very important with this energy um but it it, it will materialize um a pretty solid foundation with base chakra that talks about the root chakra that's all about what's materializing, what we stand on, how we are showing up to work in our home and things like that, that are physical in the 3D, right? So I think this is really important that you align with these people. And the time is now, you know, with the hope energy here, I feel like um, this is going to be a great, this is going to be successful, you know, and it's, it's going to be something that lasts. There's a lot of energy in this and it's like, it's the right energy, okay? Is there anything else? No, that's it. I'm going to close it out. Leave it there. Thank you so much for listening. Love, light, and abundance.